We are going to discuss about DAISY books, recordings and smartphones which help in enabling access to print for the visually impaired. The overall objective of this unit is to impart knowledge on digital accessible information system or DAISY used by visually impaired people for accessing information, the importance of DAISY standard and the impact of smartphones on the lives of visually impaired people for accessing digital media will also be discussed. Digital Accessible Information System or DAISY is a means of creating digital talking books for people who wish to hear and navigate written material presented in an audible format. Many such listeners have print disabilities including blindness, impaired vision, dyslexia and other issues. Using DAISY, a talking book format is presented with enabled navigation within a sequential and hierarchical structure consisting of marked up text synchronized with the audio. DAISY 2 was a standard based on XHTML and SMIL. DAISY 3 is also based on XML and is standardized as ANSI NISO Z3986-2005. DAISY assists people who for different reasons have problems using regular print media. DAISY books have the benefits of regular audio books, but they are superior because DAISY 2.0 provides up to 6 embedded navigation levels for content that is other objects such as images, graphics, math, ML, etc. And for displaying synchronized text to speech, DAISY multimedia can be a talking book, computerized text or a synchronized presentation of text and audio. As a result, DAISY books allow the blind listener to navigate an encyclopedia. This is impossible using conventional audio recordings because they lack search and navigation features and they require linear listening. While reading a DAISY book, a reader can go to the next on previous page, chapter or sentence. DAISY is for everyone who needs accessible information and for everyone who loves to read. The DAISY consortium has been selected by the National Information Standard Organization NISO as the official maintenance agency for the DAISY NISO standard, officially the ANSI NISO Z3986. Specifications for digital talking book known as DAISY 3. The DAISY consortium was founded in 1996 and consists of a growing membership of organizations around the world committed to developing equitable access to information for people who have a print disability. Now let us take a look into the distribution and playback mechanisms for DAISY books. DAISY books can be heard on standalone DAISY players, computers using DAISY playback software, mobile phones and MP3 players with limited navigation. DAISY books can be distributed on a CD, memory card or through the internet. A computerized text DAISY book can be read using refreshable braille display or a screen reading software, can be printed as a braille book on paper, converted to a talking book using synthesized voice or a human narration and also printed on paper as a large print book. In addition, it can be read as a large print text on the computer screen. Some of the software players which are used to play DAISY books are GH player, it is a commercial DAISY player, AMIS, adaptive multimedia information system and open source self voicing player for windows that works with several screen readers. It is developed by the DAISY consortium itself. This is one of the most popular software applications used for reading DAISY books. Immersion reader, an open source and class platform EPUB and DAISY player. Dorina DAISY Reader or DD Reader, CUCAT, Oleria, an open source DAISY reader for Mac, 
Daisy Delight for Mac and Unix based systems, Daisy Book Reader, GTK, Daisy Talking Book Reader application. Other relevant softwares are Daisy Uppsala Archive Project, which is a server side system for managing Daisy files. Online Daisy Delivery Technology, open source software to deliver Daisy books online. Now, let us talk about the hardware players used to play Daisy books. There are also a wide range of hardware products available that can play the Daisy content, usually in a portable form factor. Some of these devices are dedicated to playback of books, while others focus on other functionalities such as personal digital assistance or mobile internet access and offer Daisy playback as either a feature of the unit or as a software add-on. A short list of products that have built in support for Daisy playback includes Victor Reader System. It is a handheld portable Daisy player for the blind, visually handicapped and print impaired produced by Humanware. BookSense, a similar smaller unit produced by HIMS and advanced XT model features built in flash memory and Bluetooth headset support for playback. The National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped in the United States has developed a proprietary DAISY player designed for use by its print disabled patrons. The player has replaced the cassette based distribution system. Now, let us discuss how we can produce the DAISY compatible books. Add-ins or extensions to create DAISY files from office software are available. Microsoft and Sonata software created a save as DAISY add-in for Microsoft Word to convert Office Open XML text documents to DAISY XML. OD2 DAISY is an extension for Open Office that supports open document text to DAISY XML or to full DAISY that is both XML and the audio. Other tools for DAISY production include the DAISY pipeline, a cross-platform open source framework for document and DTB related pipeline transformations. It is developed by the DAISY consortium itself. The DAISY pipeline GUI, pipe online, a web interface for the DAISY pipeline, DAISY producer, an integrated production management system for digital talking books based on the DAISY pipeline and LibLuis. Z3986 DTB validator called ZWL. It is a Java based conformance validator for ANSI NISO Z3986 digital talking book standard. Daisy books can also be accessed on mobile phones and other multimedia devices. Applications used to access Daisy content for two popular mobile operating systems, namely iOS and Android shall be discussed now. For iOS, you have the read to go application developed by Benetech. It is an accessible DAISY player for iPhone, iPod touch and iPad. From within read to go, you can browse, search, download and read books directly from Bookshare using your Bookshare membership as well as read DAISY books from other sources. The app gives you full control over visual choices for font size and color, background and highlighting color and text to speech preferences. Read to go features word by word highlighting for multimodal reading as well. Voice Dream Reader is a paid iOS application which is available on iTunes for both the iPhone and the iPad. Navigation of full text or full audio DAISY books is not yet supported, but Voice Dream Reader now supports DAISY content in both audio and text. Daisy Laser app is available on iTunes, but users need to ask for a demo account from Dedicon as you cannot launch the app without a username and password. Learning Alley audio app can play Learning Alley content only. Voice of Daisy Lite and Voice of Daisy play full audio with NCC and full audio with full text books confining to the Daisy 2.02 standard. For Android, Darwin Reader supports all flavors of DAISY digital talking books including DAISY 2 and DAISY 3 text and audio formats. Books can be easily transferred from your computer to your phone. This app integrates with Bookshare as well. The DD Reader app is a digital book reader that can be used for reading digital content in DAISY 3 format on Android platform. It can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. GoRead is a free accessible ebook reader for people with print disabilities. 
Go Read works on a variety of Android tablets and phones. Features include searching and direct download of books from Bookshare and reading with voice navigation and text to speech. It supports books in DAISY 3 text and EPUB 2 formats. Very simple open source DAISY or EPUB reader for Android is available in different languages. Now let us discuss about the DAISY Forum of India. DAISY Forum of India is a consortium of not-for-profit organizations from India who are involved in the production and distribution of books and reading material in accessible formats for persons who cannot read normal print due to visual, cognitive or physical disabilities. The DAISY Forum of India envisions a world where people with print disabilities have equal access to information and knowledge without delay or additional expense in their own languages. The mission of DAISY Forum of India is to eradicate the book famine for persons with print disabilities. According to surveys conducted worldwide, less than 1% of the published information is available in alternate and accessible formats for use by persons with print disabilities. The lack of books and reading material has negative impact on the education, employment, prospects and personality development of persons with blindness low vision, learning and certain physical disabilities. So, Gamya Pustakale is an online platform that makes accessible content available to print disabled people. The library houses publications across diverse subjects and languages and multiple accessible formats. It has been created by the Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities called the Vyang Jan under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment India in collaboration with member organizations of DAISY Forum of India and powered by TCS Access. Books are available in accessible formats for people with visual impairment and other print disabilities. Over 2 lakh books in diverse languages integrating libraries across India and the globe including the largest international library book share. Now let us discuss that how smartphones help in enabling text accessibility. The three major touchscreen platforms from Apple, Google and Microsoft each include two built-in accessibility features for people with visual impairments. These are a screen magnifier and a screen reader. Smartphone screen readers use human sounding synthesized voices to read and review the elements displayed on the smartphone touchscreen. For a sighted person, Touching a finger to an icon on a smartphone display causes a control to be activated. But when a visually impaired person uses the screen reader, that touch instead causes the device to speak the information located on the display directly beneath his or her fingertip. They touch the display in different places and you will hear the names of different icons or snippets of descriptive text. Let's say you have tapped the display and your screen reader has identified the play icon on your device music player. To activate the play control, you next perform a double tap, that is you tap twice in rapid succession anywhere on the screen. The screen reader will interpret this gesture as though you were a sighted user, issuing a single tap on the identified control and the music starts to play. Smartphones also enable accessible typing. Edit fields are areas that require the entry of information such as phone number the person would like to dial or text of an email ID wherein the person wants to send an email. When you double tap an edit field, the device on screen keyboard appears. Most touch screen devices offer at least two ways to type. One is called standard typing and the other is touch typing. Standard typing is usually the default typing mode. Touch the screen until you find the character you wish to enter or swipe your finger and listen as the new character is announced. When you find the key you want, perform a double tap. In touch typing, as you become familiar with the on-screen keyboard, you may wish to speed up your text and number entry. Touch typing mode allows you to find the key you want to enter by either touching the screen or sliding a finger across the on-screen keyboard until your device announces the character you want. At that point, simply lift your finger off the screen to enter and voice the character. Then you can return your finger to the screen to locate the next desired character, digit or punctuation mark. 
there are many applications for smartphones and other mobile devices which can be used by those who are visually impaired to read books, newspapers, magazines and other print material. These apps convert digital text to speech or provide braille output to a compatible braille device. In addition, some of the apps listed provide books in audio formats. Many of these apps can be downloaded through the standard channels such as the app store for iOS devices called iTunes or Google Play for Android devices. While several of the mobile apps listed below may be downloadable free of charge, content may have to be purchased separately. Now let us take a look into the common reading apps used by the visually impaired community. Audiobook 7000 Plus is a popular app on iOS platform. It allows users to download free audiobooks in the public domain from LibriVox. Users are able to navigate by chapter via a track list app includes comments and reviews from other readers of a particular work. Audiobooks from Audible is available on both the iOS and Android platform. It provides audiobooks for iOS and Android devices. App comes with such features as bookmarking, chapter navigation, sleep mode and speed adjustments. Audiobooks is another app available on the iOS platform. It provides free public domain audiobooks and podcasts as well as newer books for purchase. It also includes a sleep timer. Audiobooks Now is available on both the iOS and Android platform. The subscription gives user access to approximately 50,000 audiobooks. App features a sleep timer, wish list and bookmarking features. BARD Mobile is available on both iOS and Android. It provides access to more than 50,000 books, magazines and music stores in audio and digital braille that is both contracted and uncontracted. To those who are registered with the braille and talking book library service, font size, screen, contrast, speed and tone may be adjusted. Updated versions of the app include a sleep timer. The braille feature for this app is available only on the iOS devices. Blio is another app which is available on all the three platforms namely iOS, Android and Windows. It allows users to download ebooks from the Blio bookstore and add books from iTunes or the internet in the EPUB, PDF or XPS formats. Different voice options are available through the app. Daisy Talk is another app on iOS. It reads Daisy audiobooks through the built-in synthesized voice in iOS devices. Users can set bookmarks move between passages and perform word searching. App supports 34 languages. Google Play Books is another popular app on Android and it is also available for the iOS. It gives users access to more than 4 million ebooks. The books as well as the page location can be synchronized with multiple devices. iBooks is the proprietary iOS app. It allows users to download ebooks from the iBooks store and read them with voiceover. iBooks can also open content in PDF and EPUB formats. Kindle is available for all the three platforms namely iOS, Android and Windows. It allows users to download Kindle ebooks as well as magazines and newspapers. App features a reference section in the frequently asked questions that describes voiceover gestures for the app. KNFB Reader is available for both iOS and Android platform. It scans print text and converts it into digital speech and braille output. It can export text files for later retrieval and use. For users with reading disabilities, the app has synchronized speech and text highlighting capabilities. Voice Braille Reader is available on the iOS platform. It converts digital braille files into speech using the default voice over voice. The app will play Bookshare and NLS BRF and BRL material. It allows users to synchronize braille output with speech so that the readers can read tactily as they listen.